Hi everyone, Cheryl here. So I wanted to share with you a project that I created for Miriam's Crafting Supplies. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below. So um, I decided to alter a bottle cap. So before I show you my project, I'm just going to show you um, a couple things that I use. So I use the Romance Novel paper. Um, I use that to line the inside of the bottle cap as well as um, one other piece. And then my bottle cap isn't the standard size bottle cap, it's this larger size bottle cap. Um, this isn't the largest one, I think this might be the medium size one. <clears throat> because this one was like two and three quarters, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. And I got this from Tuesday morning when they had them there um, last year sometime, I believe in September, somewhere around there, September, October. So. <clears throat> Let me go ahead and share with you my project. Um, so it actually is still drying. Um, I use glossy accents, but before I get into the inside of it, what I did first was I took some alcohol inks because this was completely silver and I don't think you're actually going to be able to see it, but I took some alcohol inks and um, put it on there so that I could change the color so that it wasn't so silver to give it kind of a brown tinge. And you can see it along the inside um, of the bottle cap. So what I did was I took the paper, I cut the paper out, I glued that down with glossy accents, and then I turned around and cut out the beautiful part, the beautiful uh, sentiment from the paper and glued that down as well. Then I took the uh, pearls, those are from Michael's, the swirl pearls, and I put those down, and then I put my glossy accents down, and then I took my flower. This is a wild orchid craft flower that I got from Marchana. Um, and I stickled it first. So I put stickles all along the edge and on those little pieces on the inside. And then I stuck that down in there. Okay. The jump rings are attached. And I use my crop dowel in order to do that. So there's one here. And then there's one at the top. Which um, the flower is kind of hiding it a little bit. But this is a Tim Holtz swivel clasp. And so now to the dangles. So we'll start here. So this right here is a pearl from Miriam's shop and I just used a bead, um, a bead cap and another bead from my stash. This flower right here <clears throat> is from Miriam's shop along with the uh, flat back pearl here. I just glued that in the middle. And then this right here is one of those word beads from Michaels. So one side says dream, the other side says kiss. And I just used these two small beads from Miriam's shop on either side of it. This right here, this piece here is from Miriam's shop. I just took my um, three quarter inch circle punch and punched out a piece of paper from Romance Novel and stuck that there. And then I used glossy accents on the inside. And then here's a bead from my stash. <clears throat> this is a wing from Miriam's shop and then a flower from my stash. <clears throat> Excuse me. Okay, so. Then I have this um, diamond bling here. Sorry, they were getting tangled. This right here I got from um, D Store Elegant Embellishments. And then here's another dangle. This one has a larger flower from my stash. And then this right here is the heart with the wings. That's from Miriam's shop as well as this key. And I just wrapped some ribbon around the middle of it. <clears throat> Excuse me, and that's from Miriam's shop as well. Okay, so then I have this piece here. So this large rose is from Miriam's shop, Eiffel Tower, Miriam's shop, and then I have another one of these where I, um, this smaller bead down here is from Miriam's shop, and then a bead cap and a bead from my stash, and then this timepiece here is also from Miriam's shop. Another string of the like diamond bling. And then for the last angle, this, sorry, this flower is from Miriam's shop. This cute, cute little teacup with saucer is from Miriam's shop as well. Again, another bead from Miriam's shop and then the bead cap and um, bead from my stash. And then this hot air balloon is from Miriam's shop. So super, super cute. She has tons and tons of charms and dangles and things like that for you to use. But I thought this would be really, really cute to use. Um, and to do it this way. And the dangles are super, super pretty. So even if I decided to hang something else from here and kind of use these charms for something else, it's easy enough to do. All right, guys, so thank you so, so much for watching. 
Um, I will be sure to leave a link in the description box below for Miriam's crafting supplies. Please go check her out. She has lots and lots of things um, and not just charms and metal pieces. She also sells paper and um, she sells tape and lots of things like that and she also does pre-orders she has all she did a pre-order uh for all the prima stuff so that should be coming in pretty soon all right guys so thank you so so much for watching and i will talk to you soon bye bye